The question I've been asked most about crystal radios is, does my coil, this part of the crystal radio, does it have to be exactly like the one I made? And there's a yes and no answer to this. The, for this type of crystal radio, you need an inductance in this coil of about 531 microhenries, and that will self-resonate about one uh, megahertz. And the AM band goes from 535 to 1605. Uh, uh, so it's 0.5 megahertz up to about 1.6 megahertz. So that's the uh, one megahertz is right about in the middle. So that's a good sweet spot for your coil to resonate. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through some common pipe and wire size combinations that's going to give us that. So if you don't have exactly the same piece of pipe that I've got laying around, uh, maybe you've got a two inch instead of 2.5 or you got a three inch instead of 2.5, whatever it is. Um, yeah, so we'll go through some combinations that'll work for you. Note that metal pipes or painted pipes will never work. So yeah, people will paint them black and wrap the wire around and it looks cool, but it doesn't work. Crystal radio coils. Okay, generally speaking, um, these are going to be equivalents. Uh, so we're going to change the pipe size and we're going to change the wire size but there's going to be trade-offs when we do that. They're not going to be exactly the same. There's some good and bad when you, when you make these trade-offs. So for example, a bigger diameter pipe or coil uh, is going to be more efficient. So you get more volume, get more sound out of it, but you're going to get a shorter coil and that's easier to make and you'll get a shorter wiper. That's this part right here. However, on the downside, uh, shorter coils mean less tuning and more crosstalk. You've got less area to try to snag that signal, to try to get that uh, uh, tune in that uh, radio station you're listening to. And as the pipe gets smaller, the required length goes up uh, and the number of turns goes up. So you'll go from something like this to something like this. And as that happens, uh, you can see what happens to the wiper here. It uh, it goes like this and starts to trail off. So you need to have a longer wiper arm. Bigger diameter wire, you get less resistance uh, loss. So you get more volume out of it. It's easier to work with and it lasts longer. When you slide this wiper back and forth across there, it rubs on the copper and after a while it will wear out. Uh, it's easier to place the tuning arm on an individual wire. So you get better tuning. So if you got a really a uh, big tuning arm compared to the wire. If the wire is really skinny and you try to set it on there, yeah, you're going to end up setting it on multiple wires at the same time. And we'll go over to the bench and take a look at that and I can show you what I mean. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's easier to tune when you have bigger wires. However, uh, you need more turns. So you're going to end up with a longer coil and a longer wiper arm like this. So you can see these trade-offs are happening. As the wire gets smaller, the required length and number of turns goes down. So note that when you're measuring your wire thickness, uh, the diameter of the wire, when the manufacturer tells you that, it's usually just the copper part, but you need to know the diameter of the wire that includes the enamel. Okay, so let's go over to the bench and take a look at uh, some real life uh, examples of what's going on. These are two crystal radios. They work roughly the same way. This one's a little bit more advanced. It has a, a special section for the antenna and we can ignore that. But you can see that this section is much shorter than this section. This is the tuning part over here on the other side of this blue line. And on this one, this is the tuning section. And you can see the difference it makes going from a much bigger form to wrap your wire around. Uh, to compared to a uh, smaller form like this one. Back again. Uh, the wire I like to use is 0.91 millimeters or 19 American wire gauge. It's bigger, it's easier to work with, it's easier to tune. And uh, yeah, that's just what I prefer. Note that uh, down below these figures are gonna be rounded up where necessary. So for example, instead of saying 240, 3.5 turns, it's going to be 244 because, you know, that, that half a turn or one third of a turn or whatever is not going to make a difference. Okay, so the, the first thing I ever made, the first crystal radio I ever made used a toilet paper tube. And one of the reasons you don't want to do this is they're very weak. People have asked me about this. Um, 
Yeah, they get bumped, stepped on, whatever, and all that work is gone. But uh, there's some other disadvantages. For example, uh, it is 1.84 inches in diameter, but the tube is only four inches long. And why do I have this in red? Well, let's take a look. If we use 19 wire gauge, uh, the length of the coil needs to be 8.65 inches and the tube is only four inches long. So it's not going to work. It would require 244 turns and half of those would be off the end of the tube somewhere. If we use 22 wire gauge, uh, then we're talking about a length of 4.74 inches, still too long, but it's coming a lot closer and it only requires 187 turns. So you see what's going on here. As the size of the wire gets smaller, uh, we need fewer turns and the coil gets shorter. 24 gauge, uh, the length would be 3.2 inches. Okay, so now we can fit that on our toilet paper tube and 159 turns. So yeah, that would work. Let's jump up to one and a half inch PVC, which is the uh, blue stuff like this. The actual OD is 1.9 inches and that's what we have to use for calculations or 48.26 millimeters. If we're using a 19 wire gauge, then the length would be 8.4 inches. So we can just cut, a cut ourselves off a piece that's uh, 8.4 inches long usually a little bit longer because you mount them on the ends, but this is the uh, length of the wire wrappings. And that's gonna be 235 turns. If we've got 22 wire gauge, then it's gonna be only 4.5 inches. Notice that it fell almost in half and 178 turns. And if we use 24, which is getting kind of thin, uh, it's gonna be 3.1 inches, which is very short. Um, and it's going to be 152 turns. Now you can see up here with 8.4 inches that that arm, the tuning arm, has a long way to travel and you can separate out the, the stations much more nicely. When you get down to 3.1, if you've got like 40 stations, that's gonna be really hard to, to get them out. There's gonna be a lot of crosstalk. Stepping up to two inch PVC pipe, the actual OD is 2.375 inches or 60 millimeters. At uh, 19 wire gauge, uh, the length of the coil is going to be 5.74 inches, 160 turns. Uh, notice here what's happening compared to this. Uh, so we went from like this to this, and these aren't too far apart, uh, but we got thicker wire, which is a good thing. 22 wire gauge, uh, 3.22 inches or, and 127 turns and 24 wire gauge will give us 112 turns and a coil of only 2.25 inches. So that's, that's getting awfully short. Let's go through a couple more and see how it plays out. So my favorites are the two inch and two and a half inch. Uh, and here we go with the two and a half. The OD is actually 2.875 or 73 millimeters with a 19 wire gauge the length is 4.3 inches and 120 turns 22 will give us a 2.5 inch yeah so that's like that yeah and 99 turns and 24 uh, will give us a length of 1.79 and 89 turns so yeah these are getting awfully short and uh, not very practical however when we were kids, we used to all also build a spy version of these crystal radios, and this is what we would do. We would use very fine wire, which doesn't hold up very well, but we'd use very fine wire, and you could build a very small crystal radio. Now for the three inch PVC pipe, the actual OD is 3.5 inches or 89.8 millimeters. 19 wire gauge uh, gives us a coil length of 3.25 inches and 91 turns. 22 wire gauge is 1.97, about two inches and 78 turns. And 24 wire gauge is 1.44 uh, inches long and 72 turns. So that's really tremendously short. Okay, so generally speaking, what we're seeing is as the wire gets smaller, the required length of the, of the coil goes down and the number of turns goes down. And as the pipe gets smaller, our form that we're wrapping on uh, the required length and number of turns goes up. So uh, these are some good numbers you can kind of pick through here and decide you know, how big you would want your coil to be. I, 
Again, I prefer the two, two and a half inch uh, pipe and the bigger wire. But, you know, it, uh, this is part of the fun of crystal radios. You can experiment and try something with a different size uh, diameter uh, and just see how it works out for you. Okay, well, that was it. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your home crystal radio experimentation.